Hey guys, it's Kevin. Welcome to another video where I show you a behind the scenes look of how I created this image. A really fun project you see here. Um, I've got this big stack of money off on the left side and this is gonna be the big stack where the, the main uh, model in this image is, is collecting all of their money. But then you see that little bitty stack over to the right uh, where they have designated that as the amount they're gonna give away, whether it's to their church or to charity or whatever. And you can see the discrepancy between the two stacks of money. So I wanna show you how I created this image. Um, it was some Cinema 4D involved, there was some Photoshop involved. And so I want to show you, I recorded the entire process so that's what I want to do. So let me go and hit play on this video and we're going to see what I did here. So you see this uh, sketch. I always start off with a sketch and uh, then I wanted to get uh, some textures to bring into Cinema 4D. That's really what Cinema 4D was going to be using uh, is these $100 bill textures and I made them into the rectangles. These would be like our, our stacks of money and uh, just use the cloner and made you know, hundreds and hundreds of these these stacks here. Um, I'm gonna have them drop on top of this landscape. So you see this big old mountain on the left side, that's gonna be the big hill, and then the, uh, the, the mountain on the right side, a lot smaller. But you can see that you have all these little white dots that are being dropped, and that's because I just wanted to speed up the render time uh, in the viewport. And um, I had to drop them over and over and over, because these are, sometimes these are thousands of of clones here and uh it's it's i wanted to make sure it was right it looked as as accurate as i could make it and so i had to keep dropping them over and over uh to get it right now i did want to make sure that there was a section where the uh the model would be at where it would be kind of like um there would be no money stacks there so i created like this little shape that goes in that spot uh, so that none of the money uh, would drop around there and that would create this little opening. So the snow shovel can just kind of like go in there and push the money up. But uh, a lot of this was done in, in Cinema 4D. Um, I'm not an expert when it comes to this program. So a lot of trial and error uh, trying to figure this all out. Um, but it's pretty simple to do using the landscape, using the the, uh, the dynamics of uh, the rigid body and the collider body and getting them to uh, interact with each other. And then when I finally had the, the final uh, version that I liked, um, I was able to um, you know take that and bring that into Photoshop as a high resolution image. Uh, the render time did take quite a bit of time. It took by about 20 minutes to render one image. Uh, and so, um, when it was rendering is when I actually went out and uh, took a picture of myself um, and got it ready. So here's kind of the idea of the, the sketch I was going for to put that person right in the middle with the signs and um, just kind of playing around with some, some um, color grading, trying to figure out which uh, direction I wanted to go in. And then I went back into Cinema 4D and added a few more little details before I committed to it. Since these are like 20 minute render times, I wanted to make sure I had the, the right one but there's a picture of me. You see, I'm just in our basement with a snow shovel and I just cut myself out and put myself into Photoshop. I did all of that during the render time. So I got all the camera stuff set up and took the 20 minute pictures and stuff like that uh, while it was rendering. And then when I got back, it was all done. And then it was time to do Photoshop the rest of the way. Uh, pretty simple here, just uh, cut myself out, add, added myself to the scene, uh, you know, cut out spots where it shouldn't be, like where the money should be at. Um, and so that was pretty simple. And then a lot of color grading was involved and uh, just getting some little details here and there, adding that sun in the background to make it kind of like a, a really interesting uh, dusk sunset type of picture. Um, but you know, most of this was uh, basic editing in Photoshop, layer mask, adjustment layers, et cetera. Um, just really fun project to do. Um, overall, it took about two and a half to three hours start to finish to do this. And uh, most of that time was spent uh, trial and error in Cinema 4D. But I really enjoyed this project. I hope that you did as well and uh, you enjoyed learning something from it. Um, really fun project to do and I hope this uh, encourages you to try something on your own. But that's all I got for this video. Hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you again at the next one. Thanks, guys.